Welcome to another Alfresco video. We'll be speaking today about the use of Podman with Alfresco. Despite uh, Podman is a container runtime used often for product environments uh, relying on OpenShift, in this video we will explore Podman as an alternative container engine for developing and testing Alfresco. Let's dive into it. Alfresco uh, deployment is composed by a set of containers that provide different features. The repository image includes the Alfresco content repository, which manages content metadata and workflows. The share image represents the legacy web interface of Alfresco. It allows uh, users to collaborate, manage content, and perform various administrative tasks uh, through the UI. The active and queue image is responsible for providing uh, message queuing and communication cap cap capabilities within the Alfresco ecosystem. The search image enables retrieval of content within Alfresco. The transform core image provides advanced content transformation capabilities within Alfresco, such as uh, convert documents from one format to another or to extract metadata from that document. The Alfresco Content App image represents the modern, customizable, and future-rich application for accessing and managing content in Alfresco. Usually, Docker is used to build and deploy these containers when uh, developing and testing Alfresco. Alfresco developers are mainly involved with container operations that happens in the local container registry, like building containers manually or via Maven plugin. If one of these uh, build containers need to be shared, the image is pushed to uh, Docker Hub registry. Additionally, for testing purpose, Docker Compose runs a composition of containers coming from the local registry and some other containers coming from the Docker Hub registry. When dealing with deployment options, both Docker Compose and Kubernetes are mainly pulling containers from Docker Hub registry or quite a registry in case of using Alfresco Enterprise services. If we focus on the uh, container-related operations taking place during the Alfresco development process, Docker Build is used in a manual or automatic way to produce container images on the local registry. This building process is uh, using as uh, input uh, Docker file that is compiled into a Docker image. As we said before, Docker Compose is used to run a set of Alfresco containers. The service description, configuration, and relationship is defined in a Docker Compose uh, WIME file. The syntax for Dockerfile and Docker Compose is defined and maintained by Docker. Dockerfile is a text file used to define the steps and instructions for building a Docker image, while Docker Compose is used to describe the service networks and volumes required for an Alfresco deployment uh, in a JAM-based file. Uh, some Docker alternatives, the, the two popular alternatives to Docker are the Red Hat stack, consisting of Podman, Wilda, Scopeo, and the Seuss stack, which includes Rancher and Lima. These uh, alternatives offer similar containerization capabilities to Docker products. So Podman is a lightweight container engine that provides a Docker-compatible interface while removing the need of a separate daemon. Podman allows you to build, run, and manage containers on your Linux-based system without requiring root access. Wilda is the command line tool that enables to build container images without a Docker daemon. It supports various uh, image formats, including Docker and OCI, uh, the Open Container Initiative. Scopeo is a command line utility that uh, facilitates the inspection, copying, and sharing of container images. It allows you to work with container images stored in different registries, such as Docker Hub or Red Hat Way, without the need for a full container runtime. Scopeo supports multiple image formats, including Docker and OCI formats. Kemu enables Podman to run containers with different CPU architectures on operating systems, providing greater flexibility and compatibility. Uh, the SUSE Stacks uh, Rancher is an open source container management platform that provides a centralized management interface for deploying and managing containers across 
uh, multiple uh, clusters and cloud providers. Ranchers uh, offers features such as containers orchestration, load balancing, and service discovery, making it suitable for uh, managing large-scale container deployments. Lima is a lightweight virtualization solution designed to run uh, containers on Windows and Mac OS systems. It leverages the native virtualization capabilities of the host operating system, such as uh, Hyper-V on Windows or Hypervisor framework on Mac OS to create a Linux virtual machine optimized for container development and testing. Uh, Kemu, similar to the Red Hat stack, Kemu is also utilized uh, in the SUSE stack, particularly in Lima, to provide the necessary virtualization capabilities for running uh, Linux containers on non-Linux host. Podman and Docker are both containerization tools that provide similar functionalities but they have some key difference. Podman uh, doesn't require a daemon to be running in the background, making it more lightweight and avoiding potential conflicts with other services. However, however uh, Docker relies on a central daemon process uh, to manage uh, containers and operations like image pools and networking. Podman allows running containers as a non-root user enhances security by reducing the attack surface. It doesn't require a separate demo running as the root user. Podman incorporates Builder, which is a separate command line tool used to build container images without requiring a Docker, a Docker daemon. Builder provides an alternative to Docker, Build Functionality Build Kit. Podman also uh, provides a CLI that uh, closely remembers uh, Docker's CLI, allowing users familiar with Docker to transition easily. Podman click commands can be used as drop-in replacement for most Docker commands. But now uh, let's see how that can be installed. So we are going uh, to see on a leaf demo how to install uh, Podman on a Mac computer. If you are using Windows or Linux, just follow the instructions on the web page and it will provide you the, um, the right steps in order to get Podman installed in your computer. So we are going to install Podman. We are going to create a Podman machine. Then we are going to install the replacement of Docker Compose that is named Podman Compose. And also we have the Podman desktop that is the replacement for the Docker desktop. Since they are both uh, more or less compatible, the uh, Podman CLI is compatible with the Docker CLI uh, syntax, we are going to create an alias for both Docker and Docker Compose commands. But uh, without uh, more explanations, let's go into the Leaf demo. OK, so let's start with the installation of Podman in my Mac OS. Remember, if that you are using a different operating system, just uh, follow the instructions on the uh, Podman website to install that on your computer. In my case, I'm going to use Homebrew, that is the package manager, the default package manager for Mac OS, and I'm going to install Podman, so every uh, component, every product we are going to, to, to install have uh, all the source code on the uh, container GitHub account. We have Podman, we have also uh, Podman Compose, the replacement of Docker Compose, and Podman Desktop, that is the replacement of uh, Docker Desktop. So let's uh, move to the command line. Let's start installing uh, Podman. That is the, the client, the Podman CLI. Uh, once we have Podman, we need to define a new uh, container runtime. So let's create a machine uh, with uh, five CPUs and 16 gigabytes of, of RAM. Now this um, machine is being created on my uh, local environment. Just wait a bit for it. Once the machine has been created, we can start the, the machine. The machine has been, it's been started now. And once this uh, machine is created, we have that, uh, uh, we, can, uh, we can see that the machine is, is live and running. We have five CPUs and 17, in this case, uh, gigabytes of, of RAM. So we can uh, go and install all uh, the other uh, required products like the uh, Podman uh, Compose. Uh, 
Let's install Podman Compose. Let's install uh, Podman Desktop. And we have all the stack already installed on my uh, computer. Finally, uh, you can just add the alias to your to your cells. So in my case, I added this to alias. So I can just uh, type Docker and it will be Podman. I can type Docker Compose and it will be invoking to uh, Podman Compose. So uh, Docker PS just provide me exactly the same feeling of Docker, but using Podman. So the first operation we can we can test is just to build um, a Docker image from a Docker file. So I have a, a Docker file at this point, and this Docker file is extending the Alfresco search services uh, Docker image with some additional instructions. So uh, Docker build uh, with the tag Podman search. So this is downloading the Alfresco search services uh, Docker image from the Docker Hub registry. And once this is downloaded, it's applicating all the extensions that we define in the Docker file. And with that, we have both uh, images available for Podman. So we have the Alfresco ser services, and we have also our um, we have also uh, the image we uh, the Docker image we already built. Some other thing we can do is is just to test the Docker Compose. So I have a Docker Compose created with the uh, Fresco Docker installer uh, tool. And we can just test if that uh, works as expected. So the same syntax, Docker Compose app. Um, and just let's wait for all the Docker images to be downloaded. So we test that the Docker build, Podman will, uh, is uh, working as expected from a Docker file. And now we are going to check if the uh, Docker Compose from a Docker Compose YML file, it's also working as expected. Let's wait a bit uh, till every uh, Docker image is downloaded from the Docker registry. Um, and let's see if that works. Okay, now that everything is started, we can uh, see like all the containers uh, running on my system and we can use the uh, the Podman uh, desktop that is quite similar to the Docker desktop. So we can see the running containers. So all these running containers are depending on the Docker Compose. We can also check the Docker images that are downloaded from uh, the Docker Hub registry and also the internal volumes that we are using. If we look at the uh, containers, so everything is fine, um, the application is deployed. We can also check the details of the different containers. We have a summary, the logs, we can inspect also this container, and we have also a terminal. And this is something that is a bit different from, uh, from the Docker desktop. So in my case, uh, since I'm running an, uh, an Arch64 uh, architecture that is uh, different from the, from the default AMD64, uh, when you use Docker desktop, you can see a hint just uh, with the indication that this is not uh, compiled, this is not built for the right architecture. This is not the case in Podman, but even with that, you can access uh, to the terminal and you can test the architecture by yourself. So we can see that this is not the right architecture and uh, we can also fix that later. So let's uh, get back into it. Let's see uh, what is happening and how to fix that. As, uh, as we have seen on the uh, running uh, Podman deployment, the search uh, container is not created with the Arch64 architecture, but also the Transform Core and the Alfresco Content App containers are still being uh, distributed only in AMD64 architecture, while a repo, Ser, and ActiveMQ are distributed by default with this with both 
Arch64 and AMD64. So we need to fix these three uh, containers, these three Docker images, in order to produce that in the right architecture. Since we are using the local registry for Podman, we need to uh, build all these Docker images using the Podman command. So for that, we have uh, this project, this Alfresco DockerX builder, and this uh, project is helping you to build all the different uh, containers, all the different Docker images uh, of Alfresco that are not provided by default with this uh, Arch64 architecture. So if we uh, move to the command line, and we can uh, yes, stop the previous Docker Compose, and we can use this Docker Builder uh, project in order to create the Docker image locally in my local registry of Podman for Arch64. So we have ACA, Search, and Transform. If we uh, hit the Enter, then we, have, uh, we are starting to build all these Docker images on Arch64 on my local environment. Let's wait a bit till we have that uh, already available. So once we have all the uh, Docker image built for the uh, local repository with the right architecture, we can uh, try again uh, to run the Docker Compose and in this case, these Docker images are going to be picked from the uh, local repository and we are going to get the containers running in the right architecture, in the Arch64 architecture that is the one used by my computer. So yes, let's wait a bit while this is starting. And if we uh, move to the Docker desktop, we are going to see these images these three new images that are uh, created for the uh, for this new uh, architecture, and once everything is started, in this case we can check the the solar container, and if we go again and check the architecture, we can see that in this case is the right one, is the expected Arch sixty four architecture. So that's fine we are able uh, to work in the same way with it with, with Docker in this case. And also something relevant is that the uh, desktop extension for Alfresco is not yet supported by Podman. So if you want to use that, you need to use this um, Docker desktop extension. Okay, so once we check everything, we can uh, we can say that the use of Podman for Alfresco development and testing purposes introduce some difference on the workflows that needs to be considered. So firstly, Podman rootlets container support enhance security by running containers as not run users, and this reduces the attack surface and mitigates potential security risk, making it a favorable choice for sensitive development and testing environments. Additionally, Podman's lack of a daemon it simplifies the deployment process. You can easily spin up containers without the need for a background process, reducing resource consumption and eliminating the need for root access. Podman seamless integration with existing container tool and technologies, including Kubernetes, made it a natural fit for Alfresco deployment and its compatibility with the OCI image standards allows for its interaction with other OCI compliant tools, simplifying image manipulation and build uh, workflows. While Docker remains a widely used container platform, evaluating the specific needs of your Alfresco uh, development and testing task and considering the advantage that Podman offers can lead to improved security, simplified development and enhanced automation. Making an informed decision based on your requirements will be uh, enable you to choose the container runtime that best suits to your needs but taking care that Alfresco can be used with both Docker and Podman uh, container uh, runtimes and that the decision depends only on you. So thanks for watching and bye.